Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're doing a summary on functions. Now the first thing we do when we are doing functions is we draw it. We need to know which different graphs do we have. Now we first have the parabola and the equation for parabola is y is equal to ax squared plus q. Then we have the hyperbola which is y is equal to a over x plus q. And last we have the exponential graph which is y is equal to a times b to the power of x plus q. Now when we're drawing it what we need to know is there's similarities between all three of them. If you take the q in each one of them the q is linked to the y. In this case the q is linked to the turning point of the y. This here is an asymptote and this one is also an asymptote. So you'll notice there's similarities between all the graphs. Next you would do x-intercept and y-intercept. Again, you would do the same thing for all three of them. Now, last, you would decide the certain style it would be written. If A is positive in a parabola, then it is a happy face. If A is negative, then it is a sad face. Then we'll have the hyperbola. If A is positive, then it means that it is in the first and third quadrant. Now remember the quadrant is created by this line which is the asymptote, not the x-axis. And then this line here which is the y-line. If it is a negative A, then we're going to have it in the second and third. Remember again that this is the asymptote. Then we have the exponential graph. Now if A is positive then it means that the graph is above the asymptote. Now remember for it to be above the asymptote they can be two. It can be coming from the left or it can be coming from the right. If A is negative it is below the asymptote. Now how do you determine in an exponential graph do I start from the left or do I start from the right? That comes from the B. If you take B, if B is greater than 0 but smaller than 1, then it is starting from the left hand side. But if it is, if B is greater than 1, then we are starting from the right hand side. So if B lies between 0 and 1, we are starting from the left hand side. But if it is greater than 1, then we are starting from the right hand side. If I give you y is equal to minus x squared plus 4. Now the first thing is we have to look at the turning point. The turning point in grade 10 is going to be based on your q and how we write it is 0 and q. So my turning point for this graph is going to be 0 and 4. Then we are going to do the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Now if I'm doing x-intercept, it means y is equal to 0. So I have 0 is equal to minus x squared plus 4. So if you know you're solving for x, we're going to have x minus 2, x plus 2. So we have x is equal to 2 and x is equal to minus 2. If you don't know how to solve x, it is better that you go and learn that section before attempting graphs. Then we're going to have y-intercept y-intercept means x is equal to 0. So we have y is equal to minus 0 squared plus 4. So we have y is equal to 4. Now to plot the coordinates we have minus 2 and 0. Then we have 2 and 0. Why am I saying 0? Because at the x-intercept y is 0. Then we have 
y is equal to 4 but x is 0 which is at this point. Now to draw we know that it is a negative so it is a sad face. If we simply join the dots we have the graph. Let's do a hyperbola. Now the first thing we know is the asymptote y is equal to 3. So at 3 we're going to draw an asymptote. Then we have x-intercept y is equal to 0. So what do we do? We have 0 is equal to minus 6 over x plus 3. Again if you are not familiar with how to sort out this you need to go to your solve for x. So we take our 3 over, it becomes minus 3, we end up at minus 3x is equal to minus 6, giving us that x is equal to 2. Our coordinate is going to be 2 and 0. Then we're going to do the y-intercept, which means x is equal to 0. So we have y is equal to minus 6 over 0 plus 3. But look. Anything divided by 0 is undefined. So there is no y-intercept. Now let's draw. We know from our summary that if it's a negative, it's in the second and fourth quadrant. We can see the dot in the fourth quadrant. Remember that the y-line is also an asymptote. Since it's an asymptote, the graph cannot touch the y-line. Then we are basically copycatting the graph on this side. So you have the graph. The one is easy to draw. The other one is just a reflection over the x equal to y-line. So if you had an imaginary line here, then if you fold the paper on this, these two should fit into each other. Let's do y is equal to half to the power of x minus 2. Now again, can you see here in front? If there is no number there, what we expect or what we're only looking at is the sign. So the sign here is positive and that is what is representing your a. So all we're doing is we're saying, listen, the a is positive. If the a is positive, it means that it is above the asymptote. What is our asymptote? Minus 2. The graph is above the asymptote. Now we're going to do x-intercept, which means y is equal to 0. So we have 2 is equal to a half to the power of x. We know 2 can be written as 1 over 2 to the power of minus 1, which is equal to a half to the power of x. If you are not sure how I did this, go back to your exponents, learn your exponents and solve for x and exponents before attempting this question. Then since the bases are the same, I can cancel it. So I have x is equal to minus 1. So what are we plotting? We are plotting that x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to 0. x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 0. Then we're going to do the y-intercept. x is equal to 0. So I have y is equal to a half to the power of 0 minus 2 y is equal to minus 1. Then we know that b is a fraction, b is less than 1. So I'm starting from my left hand side. So if I'm starting from my left hand side, my graph is going to go like this. Left hand side and above the asymptote. So remember that since it is a fraction, we're starting on the left hand side and since it's positive we are above the asymptote. Usually with the x-intercepts and y-intercepts you can see it but if you are unsure then you know okay let me look at b and then you can tell where does it start from. Thank you for watching.